Okay, so let's say you wanted to add a video to your website and I've just added a container which is like full width and then added zero padding and let me just add the video widget and let me add a video, okay? And now you could see that we added a video widget and you wanted to have something like this design but it's way too big, right? It's covering my whole screen even bigger than my whole screen and I don't want that to happen. So what I can do is basically change the height of this but there's no option to change the height around here. And that's very easy way to do it. To explain to you guys in a simple way, we will use we will be using custom CSS and there's like a free version too. Free version method. And if you don't have Elementor Pro, you could use the link in description to get the custom CSS feature and lots of other stuff. Because it's just very handy and it just keeps the code clean and you will need it very, very like much if you are like a web coder or not web coder, like web designer or developer or whatever. So yeah, use the link in description and that way you could support me by getting the Elementor Pro. But let me explain to you one thing that what we are basically doing when we add any widget in Elementor. For example, if I change the container height around here, it's not going to do anything. But basically, whenever we add any widget in Elementor, it, all, it automatically adds a container. For example, let's say if I add this image widget. It, you can see this pink border that's already a container and everything is a, in a container it's called div but it's imagine it's like a container and inside of this there's an image so what we can do is we can basically target this pink border instead of targeting the image or not image the main container so we'll be just making the pink border smaller and that's very easy to do all you need to do is if you have custom css use this method and you could see we are calling Elementor widget container. Everything in Elementor has this Elementor widget container. Okay. And we are using selector so that it only targets this uh, video widget and not the whole widget. Because if you just copy this much, it will do it for every single stuff because everything uses this Elementor container by default. So let's just copy this. And you can see it works, but there is some issue. And that issue is if I click play around here. Well, I'm not able to click play for some reason. Let's do a preview then. So now you can see the height is actually smaller. Way smaller than we need. And then if All I right click guys, play, you can see going. that it's not actually going to be perfect. It doesn't work well with just this code. So what we are actually going to do is we will click on this video widget. We will go into our image overlay. Click show in this method. We will just add our own image, whatever we prefer. I'll add this one for temporary purposes. You can see the image is added. Like this, it works nicely. And then we will add a light box. So this looks better than just YouTube video and you can also change the icon around here. And if I click play, you can right, see guys, what happens. We are quickly going it just takes you to the whole All right, video guys. light box and this just works perfectly and no issue so and you could change the height very easily you just need to specify how much pixels you want the height to be so if i go into here and then make this let's say thousand it will be thousand pixels if i made it to like just 200 it will be 200 pixels and one more thing is you could do this for any single widget it's not just this one Usually you wouldn't need it for anything else, only for me, in my experience, I've only required it for the video widget, but if you go into your image widget and then add this, you can see it's, it does not work and all you need to do is type important around here with an exclamation mark and then important and it will just override that. So if you check around here, if I, let's say, make this one smaller. You could see there's like an height, extra height added around here. So it, you could do it for every single thing. But now let's say you don't have Elementor Pro, then what method you should do is we will go to the video, we'll go to our custom CSS. Instead of selector, we will add our own CSS. So let me just go into the video, go into layout, and then let's call this a 
something that or anything that you want i'll call it dm video and then instead of selector i'll type dot dm video and then space around here and let's remove this so now this is how it looks all you need to do is copy the html widget and obviously i don't recommend always using this it's good for like small uh, edits but it just increases like lots of and makes it very like you know not un it makes it unorganized so using creating elementor pro would just help you a lot uh, type style and then inside of this type this and you could say it's not working so all we could do is type important and you could see that it just works you can see make sure the image is like good because the image is bigger than this it's just making it look weird and that's all if you wish to change the image to like good size just choose like the uh, image which is like not too big and it would work perfectly fine and yeah that's all thanks for watching